Hello. In this presentation, we will see what is called the pixel's geometry, that is to say their spatial organization in a screen. Then we will see the different ways to control them through the gate driver. It should be noted that in LCD screens, all pixels are not always ordered in the same way. Classically, in a TFT LCD screen, each pixel is made up of three sub-pixels representing the three primary colors RGB or in the other direction BGR which is the same. In a standard configuration, all pixels are ordered vertically. This structure is called RGB in vertical stripe. In other screens, the pixels can be ordered horizontally, it is called RGB in horizontal stripe. There are several other configurations. The purpose of all these technologies is to adapt the display to the human visual system to obtain higher resolution images. As another example, we have the RGB mosaic. The arrangement of the three sub-pixels is different from one line to another. On the first line there is a pixel ordered in RGB. On the second line the pixel is ordered in BRG. Then on the third line the pixel is in GBR and so on. In the RGB delta screens, there is an offset between the pixels of a line and the one that follows it. Some screens have pixels composed of more than three primary colors. They are called in abbreviation MPC, which means multi-primary color. As a combination of colors, we can find for a pixel, four sub-pixels of red, green, blue and yellow. Or red, green, blue and white. Some have five sub-pixels, red, green, blue, yellow and cyan. Sometimes even six sub-pixels by adding magenta to the five previous colors. Some companies have opted for a totally different concept in the geometry of pixels in a screen that has been called pentile. The design of these screens is based on the principle that the human eye does not perceive the three primary colors red, green, and blue in the same way. In a human retina, there are two types of photoreceptor cells. The rods are by far the most numerous but they are not involved in the perception of colors. This task falls to the cells called cones, because of their shape. In the human eye, there are three types called S, M, L, according to the wavelength of light. The S cone is for the blue color, the M cone for the green and the L cone for the red. The number of cones is different depending on the type of color. The blue cones are the least frequent then comes the green cones while the red cones are the most frequent. From these observations some manufacturers propose to reproduce in a screen the same principle as the photosensitive cells of the retina by modifying the distribution and size of sub-pixels in a screen. On this illustration is represented on the left a classic configuration called RGB stripe. Each pixel is made of three RGB sub-pixels. On the right is represented the geometry of the pixels in RGBG pen tile screen. Here each pixel is made of two sub-pixels either RG or BG. In the family of pen tile screens, there are several models. We see here two examples of pen tile. On the left one of the best known RGBG pen tile and on the right a pen tile diamond. One of the criticisms made to the pen tile is that it contains less sub-pixels. Indeed, if we take two screens with the same display resolution, for example a 4K, the pen tile will theoretically have the same number of pixels as the classic RGB. But in reality, if we count the number of sub-pixels, it will contain a third less. Another criticism of the pentile technology is that if you look closely at the screen you can see a crosshatch aspect of the screen due to the particular arrangement of sub-pixels. It is necessary to have a pixel density exceeding 400 pixels per inch so that the human eye does not perceive this anomaly. The pixels can be controlled in various ways. First the scanning direction can be from left to right if the gate driver is installed on the left side of the screen. This direction will be reversed if the driver is put on the right side of the screen. Another way to scan the lines faster is the so-called interlaced mode. The odd lines are for example controlled by the gate driver on the left side of the screen and the even lines by the driver on the right side. Here for the illustration this scanning is deconstructed line after line but in reality the scanning is done in an instantaneous way and is ultra fast. In large screens, in order for the pixels placed on the same line to be activated at the same time, a bilateral scan is used. This technique is called dual-side driving. Here is an example of a double scan that reverses the polarity between each pixel. In one direction some pixels will have a positive polarity and in the other direction the polarity will be negative. At the next frame, the polarity for each line can be reversed. This technique prevents the liquid crystal from freezing and losing its optoelectrical properties. Goodbye.
and see you soon.